Welcome to Sandhi Peace for Mathematics. In this video, we are talking about a method of solving bi quadratic equation using the illustration by Ferrari method. So, we will directly solve examples and see what is this Ferrari method is. So, bi quadratic equation, let's say it is x raised to 4 minus 12 x cubed plus 41 x square minus 18x minus 72 equal to 0. Objective is to solve this bi quadratic equation using the Ferrari method. So for that combining the term x power 4 and x power 3 that is x cube term x power 4 terms into the perfect square. So what we will do is combining these two terms we will write down this whole equation into the perfect square. So making the perfect square of these two terms, this may write as x square by square root of this, dividing this quantity by 2x square that is 6x plus lambda square, whole square. And we know that the formula for a plus b plus c whole square will be a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2ac plus 2bc. So this a square plus b square plus c square I am just writing that term here thus expanding this quantity that is x raised to 4 plus 36x square plus lambda square minus 12x cube that is 2ab plus 2ac that is minus 12 lambda x and the last term is plus 2 lambda x square. So this is the expansion of this term and I want that this expression equation 1 can be written as this. So whatever the terms I have added here that I have to subtract. So you can just observe that x power 4 is already here. So that's no need to subtract from this. 12x cube is already there. So this term is also I'm not doing it anything for that. So minus 36x square is not here. So I'm just subtracting minus 36x square. Since this is plus, we have added that term. Minus lambda square will subtract. This we can add. So plus 2 lambda x minus 2 lambda x square we have subtracted from this and now I will just remove this quantity because I don't want that for further calculation and this three terms is already there so I'm just writing that as it is so 41 x square minus 18 x minus 72 equal to 0 so this quantity I may rewrite as x square minus 6 x plus 7 sorry lambda whole square equal to now 36 minus 41 will give you 5 lambda square if I write down on the other side and this 2 lambda square is already there if I can write down on the other side that is 2 lambda minus 5 x square is there. The terms having the x term there are the two terms we have that is this 2 and if I can write down that is on the other side that is minus 12 lambda minus 18 plus 18 so if I take common that quantity so it is plus 18 so that is plus 18 minus 12 lambda x and the constant term is this 2 that is plus lambda square plus 72. Now this side is a perfect square so this has to be a perfect square and it is of the form ax square plus bx plus c. When we know that the quadratic polynomial is a perfect square that is ax square plus bx plus c will be a perfect square if b square minus 4ac will be 0. That means that has two equal roots. So that is the situation where b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So in this, this quantity is perfect square because on this side it is a perfect square. So this is B, we have this is A and this will be a C. So 
as per that we can have that b square that is minus 18 minus 12 lambda square minus e equal to 4 a a is 2 lambda minus 5 c is lambda square plus 72 and if i can expand this one and simplify it will reduce to the equation 2 lambda cube minus 41 lambda square plus 2 252 lambda minus 441 equal to 0 you can check this yourself and by trial and error method we can obtain the value of lambda i is equal to 3 you can do the cardinals method to solve this one but the trial and error method will do that we can have the value of lambda is equal to 3 so the one of the root of this lambda or one of the quantity we have as a lambda equal to 3 we substitute this value of lambda into the previous equation that we have here and so we can get so if i put the value of lambda into here then we will have it is x square minus minus 6x plus 3 whole square and if i lambda is equal to 3 here then 2 this is 6 minus 5 it will be gives you x square then it is minus lambda is 3 so it is 12 this is 36 18 minus 36 is minus 18x plus lambda square plus 72 so it is 9 plus 72 will gives you 81 this will can write as x minus 9 full square so it will become a perfect square so hence the finally we can have it is x square minus 6 x plus 3 whole square is equal to x minus 9 whole square so according to the formula a square minus b square will be a minus b a plus b we do the fraction of this two quantity which gives you x square minus 6x plus 3 plus x minus 9 into x square minus 6x plus 3 minus x minus plus 9 equal to 0. So finally we will have it is x square minus 5x minus 6 into x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. And if you solve this two equation that will give you x square minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. So this will give you as a solution is minus 6 and minus 1 and this will give you a solution as 3 and 4. So hence the root of the equations are minus 1, 6, 3 and 4. They are the roots of the given equation 1. This is known as a Ferrari's method and it can be applicable for any biquadratic polynomial. Let's solve one more example. Let us consider x power 4 minus 2x cube minus 5x square plus 10x minus 3 equal to 0. The first we have to combine these two terms of x power 4 and minus 2 power x cube and make it as a perfect square. So for that I may write down by squaring square root of this one that is x square and by dividing this second term by 2x square we will have it as minus x plus lambda whole square and we will expand this one here and then we will rough it out that quantity. So this the expansion of this quantity is x cube plus x raised to 4 plus x square plus lambda square minus 2ab that is 2x cube then it is minus 2 lambda x then the last term is plus 2 lambda x square you just observe that these two terms are already there exist here and all the rest of rest of the term either you have to add or subtract according to their sign so here the added x square term is you have added here so we have to subtract that lambda square also we have to subtract we have to add this to this term 2 lambda x and we have, this we have to subtract minus 2 lambda x square and this the three terms which is minus 5 x square plus 10 x minus 3 equal to 0 will be as it is and then I will remove this term from this quantity from here. 
because I don't want that for the for the calculation. Now we'll take this quantity on the other side. That is x square minus x plus lambda whole square will gives you the terms of x square are this two. So if I can take it on the other side, it will gives you two lambda plus six x square. Minus the coefficient of x will be this two, that is minus two lambda plus ten x, and if the constant terms are this one, that is plus lambda square plus three. Since this side is a perfect square, this has to be a perfect square, and if you want that this has to be a perfect square according to the a x square plus b x plus c, if this quantity or this quadratic expression as a perfect square if b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 so therefore b square is here 2 lambda plus 10 whole square equal to 4 that is a is 2 lambda plus 6 and c is lambda square plus 3 and if you simplify this quantity Then this will gives you two lambda cube plus five lambda square minus four lambda minus seven equal to zero. And by trial and error method, we required one of the root of this. You can solve this is by cubic polynomial, and we get one of the root is lambda equal to minus one. We substitute this lambda equal to minus one into this equation. Let's say it is one. Then equation one become x square minus lambda minus one square. That is lambda equal to minus one. We have substitute. That is minus two plus six. That is four lambda square. Sorry, four lambda x. Sorry, four x square. The lambda is minus one, so it is eight minus eight x plus this is one plus three. That is four. So four. So this will gives you. 2x minus 2 whole square, and using the formula x a square minus b square as a minus b a plus b will gives you this is will gives x square minus x minus 1 minus 2x plus 2 x square minus x minus 1 plus 2x minus 2 equal to zero, and hence we have x square minus 3x plus 1 x square Minus plus x minus three equal to zero. So we have to solve this quadratic equation, two quadratic equations now, using the formula a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero as x is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus four ac upon two a. So as for this, we can have the roots of this equations are. X is equal to three plus or minus nine minus four upon two, or x is equal to minus one plus or minus one minus four is at twelve minus minus plus twelve upon two. Hence, the root of the equations are three plus or minus five by two and minus one plus or minus root thirteen by two. they are the uh, roots of this polynomial and this method is known as ferrari method that's it for with this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or question please drop down in a comment box below see you in next video till then bye bye